Yes, it is another time again. We meet in my channel of Wedwerim. Uh, welcome again. Uh, today I am continuing with the laws of education stakeholders and I am going to explain the ways a professional teacher can influence class interactivity. Uh, I have prepared five ways which should be followed by a professional teacher so that the class is interactive when teaching. The way number one is the mastering of the subject matter. Mm. Any teacher, every teacher is required to master the subject matter before entering in the class. Uh, this will help him or her to solve the difficulties which students meet in the particular concepts which will be taught. Also, it will help him or her to maintain the trust from the student and uh, stabilize his power to the students. Um, on this, I remember when I was in first year at Sokoine University of Agriculture, in one course known as Principles of Education, which was taught by Professor Ernest Kira, uh, he said that if you know that as a professional teacher, you have not prepared for the subject matter of the particular lesson. On that day, it will be better if you don't go to teach. Because when you have not prepared enough, you will not teach properly and it will make you to lower your power. And to the teachers, this is quite true. It is true. Make sure that before you enter the class, you have mastered well the subject matter of that day. The way number two for a teacher to make a class interactive is proper dressing. What do I mean when I say proper dressing? Proper dressing, I mean uh, a professional teacher should avoid to wear tiny clothes and the short clothes. Um, uh, tying clothes, I mean those clothes which uh, draw the body parts uh, after they are put on by the teacher. So avoid this. Uh, also, short clothes. Short clothes, I mean the short skirts. Uh, the short skirts, I mean, when I say short skirts, I mean the skirts which are above the nails. So make sure that ladies. Uh, you put on the skirts which are below the nails so that your body parts are well covered and uh, for case of shirts and the uh, for case of shirts and blouses make sure that uh, your shirt and all oh, a blouse is long enough to cover all the body parts so that when you are in the class you are free you can uh, light on the bracket board without any fear on any parts which can be exposed uh, on your body this will make the students to be both physically and psychologically in the class. But if we violate this, uh, the students will concentrate on looking at you and forget uh, to hear from what you teach. So they will be in the class physically, but psychologically, they will be looking at you or they will be outside the class. So make sure that proper dressing is maintained when you are in the class and outside the class. Okay, the way number three, uh, a professional teacher should be capable to integrate the science and the art skills. The science and the art skills. When I say science skills, I mean a professional teacher must be able to apply the research findings on how to select the respective content, the required one, the wanted one, according to the particular group of learners. But when I say the art part, the art part of teaching, it is the capability of a teacher to make the class warm and, al warm and alive and also to make it interactive. Uh, this can be achieved through different ways uh, and it depends on the creativity of a teacher. Uh, for example, you can find other teachers are capable to sing the songs when in the class or to to tell the students to sing the songs or to tell the stories all of these are different artistic skills which a teacher must have to make the class alive have you seen 
So a teacher makes sure that you integrate the art part and the science part uh, of your teaching. Okay, the point number four is to avoid discouraging statements. Uh, teachers must be attentive on this part uh, to avoid the discouraging statements. Um, these discouraging st the examples of these discouraging statements are like that. You can find a teacher um, approach to a student who is trying to answer the question. You student, that is that is a stupid idea sit down when you tell a student that what he or she is speaking is a stupid idea that student will not try again to ask the question in the class in your or foreign lessons so observe this avoid the discussion statement like this or you can find the other teacher speaking that regardless to the student regardless your efforts you will not pass the national examination this is not good or you can find a teacher majestically speaking that I hate this class and you will not get my help. That is not good. Or you can find a teacher speaking whether you come in the class, whether you don't come. What matters? I get my salary. What? That is not a teaching. You are not a professional teacher. A professional teacher must, in, must avoid all of these discouraging statements. Your role is to encourage a student only how to study so that he or she can reach his or her goals and not otherwise. The last way, the way number five uh, in which a professional teacher should behave is to avoid labeling students. To label students, I mean to use their physical appearance instead of their names. Some teachers tend to call the students based on their physical appearance and leave aside their names. My friends, teachers, make sure that you use their names instead of the physical appearance of the students. For example, you can find a teacher, call a student, Call a student, you white, you black, you tall, you short man, you beautiful, you handsome. Answer this question in the class. That is not good. That is not good anymore. Uh, so make sure that you call the students by names because when you use uh, these labels, it can make some students to feel that they are not considered and they are tortured. So don't try to do this. If you you have done it, just leave it. Make sure that you call the students by their names and don't label the students. Okay? After saying those five ways through which a professional teacher can enhance class interactivity, the point number one, uh, he or she should master a subject matter before entering the class. Point number two, proper dressing. Point number three, the integrating the art and science skills. Point number four, avoid discouraging statements to the students. And the last point, which is point number five, avoid labeling the students. Uh, after observing those five points, I am sure that if you put them in practice, you will be a professional teacher. So teachers, be professional. Teachers, I beg you to be professional. I beg you to be profession. Thank you for following my sessions and make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can get updates on time. Uh, I invite you again in the following sessions and before I say bye, I remind you that in Edwerim channel it is where you will get the all our issues about educational guidance and counseling. Thank you. Don't miss the next lessons. Bye.